This video is about the overhauling of the generator engine. Remove all the accessories and fittings on the cylinder head cover. Remove the fuel valve. Loosen the cylinder head nut with the desired hydraulic oil pressure. Tighten and loosen by one turn the hydraulic jack. Remove the cylinder cover. Remove the protecting ring. Remove the cylinder head gasket. Remove the connecting rod bolt locking wire. Check the numbering mark between the connecting rod and the connecting rod big end. Or make your own mark before the removing of the piston. Remove the connecting rod bolt. Pull out the piston from the cylinder liner. Remove the piston ring and clean the piston crown. Insert the new piston ring inside the cylinder liner after the measurement of the cylinder liner and took up the ring gap clearance. Dismantle and remove the connecting rod big end. Loosen the nut with the desired hydraulic oil pressure. Tighten and loosen by one turn. Remove the nut, then put a mark between port and starboard. Remove the connecting rod big end on both sides. Clean and check the connecting rod bearing between lower and upper bearing for any abnormalities. Assemble the connecting rod big end and tighten with the desired hydraulic wheel pressure and took off the measurement. Measure the big end inside diameter of the connecting rod and record the result. Remove and replace the crank pin bolt when the running hours is overdue. Clean and apply with a small amount of molecule. Tighten the crank pin bolt with the desired tightening torque. Dismantle the piston and carry out a measurement. Make your own mark before the dismantle of the piston. Remove the piston pin. Measure the piston pin outside diameter 
and connecting rod pin bus inside diameter and then record the result mount the piston ring carefully install the piston ring into the piston crown and check the piston ring is on the right position After the installation of all piston ring, double check that all top mark is on the top position. Assemble the connecting rod bearing and tighten with the desired hydraulic oil pressure. Assemble the piston into the cylinder liner. Tighten the connecting rod bolt with the desired tightening torque. Mount the protecting ring. Mount the cylinder head gasket assemble the cylinder cover and tighten with the desired hydraulic oil pressure mount the cylinder cover accessories and all fittings and tighten with the desired tightening torque start the priming pump and check the lubrication in every cylinder rocker arms Check the connecting rod side play motion in all cylinder. Air run the engine and check the indicator valve for any oil or water. Start the engine without load at least for 10 minutes then observe the running condition of the engine check for any leakage pressure and the temperature after 10 minutes stop the engine then check the connecting rod side play motion in all cylinders Start the engine again, then foot a 100 kilowatt load and then observe the running condition for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, parallel the generator into the generator on service for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, put into solo service the new overhaul generator and then observe the running condition for one hour after solo service stop the generator then start into the control panel to confirm the generator that will start 
between local mode and remote mode.